Oops. I want to show you that I got the Omegata CD-ROM to work on Windows XP. You see this thing, this little thing called Shockwave 7? I installed, I ran this, Shockwave Full, and it went to Shockwave Player at Shockwave Player 7. I installed both of those just a while, a few moments ago. And I found something else that's like called Dur Opener. I couldn't really, it, it just, I don't know why, it takes its, the protected file and does this, this with it from a DXR or a CXT and whatever. I don't know what it does. It, apparently you can edit them now. But uh, the Oh My God CD-ROM works on Windows XP if you have this version of Shockwave Player. Shockwave 7 right there. If you come down here, uh, da -da -da -da, there's Shockwave. And I'm doing this on an experimental system that I don't do anything with except I screw on with things like this and there's flash player and I don't think I see shockwave player except it is installed but anyway this is Windows XP so when this is Windows XP professional desktop and the flash player is installed but I don't know what version it is and uh, advanced Version. Oh, and he's updated sometime. But I don't use this on the web, so who cares? Um, it's QuickTime 32, right there. Uh, I ran Shock, the, both Shockwave installs, uh, the full and the, and the web player. Now, this is what happens now when I click on Goddess EXE from the CD-ROM. It works. QuickTime is installed properly. And now Shockwave Player, Shockwave 7, works with Windows XP. And this is a Windows XP professional, as you saw the um, desktop. There's the opening thing, opening movie. I still don't have um, speakers or anything hooked up to it. I'm, I may do that again. There's the opening movie. And this is running on Windows XP. So you just need an updated version. Macromedia Director is what that called, or what Macromedia Shockwave version 5. Does not work on XP, but it does work on, I mean, it, version 7 does. And there's the Oh My Goddess thing. There's the orb and the little flippy thing. And let's try and chase down the flippy thing. And we can click on the flippy thing. Other character. Oh, we, got, we didn't get scolded at this. All right. It's supposed to be music that accompanies this, and I can click here and click here, click here. Nice. So now, yes, I can now use this on Windows XP. So you can select the other one, and I can go back to the menu, go back to chase down the orb, click on the orb, and click on this. It, it, the manual does explain who you get every time you click on one of those things. This. Uh, <coughs> I forgot. You have to click on it while they're on in the orb. Click in the orb. And there we go. Oh, this runs really fast on Windows XP. And we can grab the window. <laughs> Move it up and down. Now with Windows XP, I have a little more of a flexibility in grabbing these images out. Because at any one time, uh, I can hit Shift Print Screen. Or just Print Screen. And exit out of, the, out of the software, and I can hit it. Here we go. Where is paint? <laughs> Accessories, paint. I don't know if paint will accept us. I'll do a full screen of paint. Edit, and I can paste. And here we go. So I, with being able to run, and I can just do multiple pastes and copies. And I can assemble that, no problem. <laughs> so, I, didn't, I wasn't watching where I aimed it. So, I can now edit. Oh, we'll save this. This saves only, oh, I think it did save JPEGs. Save as 24 bitmap JPEG. Up, up, not desktop. Go to C drive, go to temp, and we'll just save untitled there. So now I do have an easier way of getting, uh, oh, go back to the ring. There we go. Boop. Oh, 
Oh, I can resize it? I didn't know I could do that. Oh! <laughs> I did not... Ooh! I did not know I could do that. Here's, that's the cover of the, of the CD-ROM. I did not know I could do this. I could flip it around. Well, here's a rough sketch. And we can do this. So now I do have an easy way of getting the graphics out. <laughs> I did not know. Can I do this way? No. Back to the... We can... Uh, oh, like this. We can go switch another character. There we go. Rust... Oh! The rough sketch... The bike's not in there. And we just flip it over. Oh, we go back to this one. So now I have it working on Windows XP because I had to install uh, Shockwave Player 7. It just wasn't the, the right right version on for XP. Ah, nice. And it runs really fast. <laughs> so I have it working in Windows XP. All right. Uh, I quit. If something plays, I hit Control Q, Q, and there it goes. And that is Windows XP Professional, and I'm not kidding you. <laughs> I wouldn't kid. All right. Anyway, installing Shockwave 7 on Windows XP allows the Goddess CD-ROM to work in XP. So, uh, we'll update our post.